What's up YouTube? It's the Casual Gunner here and today I'll be doing another chronograph test on the Crossman Pumpmaster 760. This has been a popular request where I'll be over pumping it and seeing how many feet per second you get per pump over 10 pumps you go and also trying to figure out at what point you actually start losing feet per second. At some point the pressure on the valve holding it closed becomes greater than the additional pressure you get from having more air compressed so you would actually start losing velocity and it wouldn't make any sense to over pump anymore after that. Just as a disclaimer, the recommended limit of 10 pumps exists for a reason and over pumping these guns makes you liable to ruin them or wear them out faster so I don't recommend ever doing it. But for the sake of science I'll be doing it in this video. I have my chronograph right here which reads in meters per second so I'll be converting it to feet per second in editing. Behind it is my high-tech newspaper filled pellet stopper and a layer of Kevlar meant to stop firearm rounds. Each one of these alone would be able to stop the pellet coming out of the Crossman 760, but it's better to be safe than sorry and have both. For each of the shots in this video, I'll be shooting the 5.71 grain H&N field target trophy greens. And for the first shot, I'll start out at 10 pumps. Now this is interesting, at 17 pumps it only moved at 215 meters per second, whereas at 16 pumps it was at 217. So we might have reached the point where you stop gaining velocity and start losing it because the uh, excess pressure doesn't help anymore. But just to be sure, let's move up to 18 pumps and see if uh, we still get a lower velocity than at 16 pumps. Well, that's an interesting result. It went back up to 217 meters per second. Let's try it up to 19 and see what happens. So it looks like once you reach 21 pumps, you don't really gain any velocity from 20 pumps, because both of them you get 220 meters per second, which is what I suspected since at 19 pumps you got 219 and at 20 you got 220, so that's only a gain of about 3 feet per second. So what does this tell us? It tells us that you actually can overpump the Crossman 760 to keep gaining more velocity, but without mods, 20 seems to be the highest, 20 pumps at least. After that, you don't gain any more feet per second, and it doesn't make sense to go any higher. Again, I don't recommend going above 10 pumps on a stock Crossman 760 at all. The reason I did it in this video was for science, and I was fully prepared to lose the gun in the process. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. Check out my channel if air guns are your thing, and thanks for watching.